department of collegiate and technical education welcomes you for learning and management system program first year be common to all course engineering physics course code 18 phy 12 bar 22 module 4 laser spot session learning outcomes at the end of this session students are able to understand principle construction and working of gallium arsenide semiconductor laser merits and demerits and its applications finally some possible questions these are semiconductor lasers with different output this is purple colored wavelength blue colored wavelength and green colored wavelength and this is red colored wavelength semiconductor laser principle construction and working of semiconductor laser semiconductor laser is a heavily doped pn junction which emits monochromatic and highly coherent beam of light when it is in forward bias the principle of semiconductor laser is forward bias one can observe the forward biasing of semiconducting material here p type of semiconductor is connected to positive terminal of a battery whereas n type of semiconductor is connected to negative terminal of a battery this is we call forward biasing construction the gallium arsenide semiconductor laser one of its end is doped with pentavalent impurity atoms like tellurium becomes n type whereas the other side is doped with trivalent impurity atoms like zinc become p types and one of its end is doped one of its end is partially reflective end and other side there is a highly reflective end it is uh, helps us to enhance photon density in the active media through multiple reflections and also there is a ohmic contacts per electrical supplies working the semiconductor is connected to forward bias the electrons are injected from n region into the depletion region of conduction band at the same time equal number of holes are injected from p region into the depletion region of valence band this process will continue until threshold uh, uh, electron density reach in the conduction band this is similar to population inversion since the con conduction band is almost filled by electrons whereas in the case of valence band there is only holes that means vacant site for electrons that means the valence band is almost empty whereas conduction band is almost filled by the electrons so once threshold photon electron density reached in the conduction band any one of the electron decay spontaneously or any one of the electron recombines with hole present in the valence band by emitting a photon this photon triggers remaining electrons present in the conduction band therefore the laser beam generates in this semiconductor laser the energy of the uh, semiconductor laser depend on energy gap that is e z equals h nu h c by lambda therefore lambda equals h c by e z outline of semiconductor laser output continuous active media solid state gallium arsenide along with dopants like tellurium and zinc population inversion forward bias wavelength range ir 800 nanometer based on energy gap per different types of dopants applications it is found in cd players laser ranging spectroscopy in research pointers in presentations and in optic fiber communications and biometrics etc merits size is very small highly durable portable and wavelengths can be varied very easily and operates with low power demerits slightly angular divergent with long range propagation in space and also temperature sensitive these are some possible questions along with reference mention the mode of achieving population inversion in the semiconductor laser that is forward bias define forward bias the positive side of the semiconductor is connected to positive terminal of your battery and the negative side of semiconductor is connected to negative terminal of your battery this is we call forward bias how the laser action takes place in the semiconductor laser this is discussed in the previous slide 
mention view application of the laser. This you can, for this you can refer previous slide on what factor the wavelength of semiconductor laser will depend on mainly energy gap and type of dopants. Because courtesy, courtesy Google internet sources. Thank you.